He's one of the new and up and coming freestyle sprinters in America today. The Golden Bear from California, Matt Biondi. You just can't get this guy out of the pool. I was voted All-America all four years in both swimming and water polo. I was NCAA Swimmer of the Year my last three years. I all wanted to win. I wanted to beat the person next to me. I wanted to be number one. 41.87, a new American and NCAA record. A standing ovation for Matt Biondi. When I got to the Cal campus, I realized that people were not going to judge me based on how I looked, but rather what I did and what kind of teammate I was. It was a time in my life where I just blossomed. We need guys that are out there that are bad, you know, that get out there and, and strike fear in other people, and I think Matt's one of those. Using my size at 6'7 and my wingspan at 7 feet formed a new way of swimming, and people followed. And eventually they did it better than I did. <laughs> but for a while, I was seen as the best. These swimmers exuberant with their enthusiasm for this sport. When I talk to recruits or people ask me about advice, that's the number one thing that I will tell them. Go where you are wanted. And of course, go where it feels right. You see the campus, you see the people that are on the campus, and you say, yeah, these are my people. And I felt that way when I was at Cal. My high water mark at the Olympics was in Seoul in 88, the, sort of the prime in my career and just coming off all the miles that I had trained at Cal. You sort of expect somebody to discover that you're up there and they're going to say, hey, you get out of here, you don't belong here, you know, get off. And then after a while, it, things settled down and while you're up there and the crowd is appreciating you, you can really just pause for a moment and say, what an incredible moment in time. I started to teach and coach in 2000, and so I've been at it a full 14 years now. It's much harder to be a coach than it is an athlete. I want them to have a competitive edge. I want them to improve, and so that's the hardest part about coaching is you can't control that, and you just have to let go. And every once in a while, whether they win or just improve, you run into a really special experience where they all come together and we look at where we started and where we ended up and the improvement is extremely satisfying. To this day, looking back to win seven medals in one Olympics, I wonder, you know, how was I able to do it? But the medals are in a museum in Chicago, so I can go see them and prove that, uh, yes, it did indeed happen and life is good. <laughs>